Hi everyone, Tasha here from Stardust Gold Crochet. I'm gonna show you today how to block your squares for the Sweet Treats Cow and just in general, how to block squares. If you haven't already, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and give it a like and a thumbs up. And I wanna say welcome if you're new. Thanks for being here. So I just finished my square that's going to be released on Friday for the Sweet Treats Cow and I love the way it turned out, but as you can see, it's a little bit wonky. My tension was off, so there's ways to fix that if your square doesn't look perfectly square when you finish it. And that's called steaming, and this is my first time steam blocking actually, so we're gonna learn this together, you guys. Um, this is what I got off Amazon. I'll put the link in the description down below. So far, it looks great. I watched one of um, Tony Lipsy's tutorials and I really was inspired to grab me one of these. So if you want to grab one, down in the comments I will put the link. So I'm going to open this box up and it says it's a 100% guarantee. So that's fabulous. Um, let's hope that that is true. All right. So let's unbox this together. You can always fast forward to the steaming part if you just want to get rid of, uh, go through this part. So here we are. Ta -da. So it looks like it comes with, this is a manual. It's like a nice, good manual. This looks like a good troubleshooting guide. And then there's a QR code to register it, which is always good. You want to protect your purchases. So it's wrapped in plastic. It looks like it's a nice size. It doesn't look too heavy or cumbersome. I have a large steamer that I use to clean my house with. It's very heavy and cumbersome, and I actually thought about using it for blocking, but I was like, nope, <laughs> don't think so. This looks pretty nice. It comes with a water cup. This, I have no idea what this is yet, but I'm sure I'll find out. This looks like it's used to brush stuff off, but we're not gonna need any of that, I don't think. So the reservoir is pretty nice. Oh, and it comes out pretty nice. And then it says an important notice. Make sure you read those. All right, let's get started. Okay, so it says to fill the water reservoir, which is this, with water that's not treated tap water. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some Ozarka that I have because I don't want to um, ruin my device right off the bat. I don't know what it would do if it's treated tap water, um, but I really don't wanna risk that because I'm kind of cautious like that. I'm gonna read my directions. Oh, here we go. <laughs> This is why it's so important to read directions and I'm always like in such a hurry that I just want to like, come on, let's go, let's do it, let's do it. All right, so I'm going to pour in here, but I'm not going to do it over, well, maybe I can very carefully. Oh my gosh, I'm not spilling it. It's a miracle. It says that it is ready to steam in less than 30 seconds, I think, which is awesome. So we can get straight to it after we do our pinning. Okay, so all the water's in. I am going to close this puppy up, put it back in here. There we go. Now it's time to plug it in. I think we turn it on and it flashes a green light. Okay. But so when this becomes solid and doesn't flash anymore, that's when it will be ready to use. Wow, they weren't quit kidding. It really was 30 seconds. It's solid already. Okay, but we need to block this first with pins. So we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna set this aside. I went ahead and got some of these really awesome Knitter's Pride knit blocks. These are really great because they have lots of pins and they can go pretty deep on a mat, but it makes it a whole lot easier to just block out your project. But first, I wanted to say, if you're using, like I'm using, a mat that doesn't have any kind of um, numbers or guides on it for you, what I'm gonna do is kind of create my own little guides um, because this is just a child's mat and it doesn't have anything, so I'm not really sure how big each square is going to be and I really, really badly want it to be all the same size um, for the blanket because I want the blanket to look uniform and and good. So what I'm gonna do is take a pen and I'm gonna mark it out or put make little punch holes actually because I don't want any kind of pen going into my project. So I'm gonna do that. Okay. 
So what I'm gonna do is line these up in like a T, kind of like if I had an L shaped thing. So I'm gonna mark off from zero to 12 inches and just put a dot at every inch mark. Okay, so I have 12 there, starting at zero. I'm gonna move it on over and add two more inches on that side. And then I'm gonna add two more inches over on this side too. Go ahead and block this up. I'm gonna start off in the corner over here and kind of try to line it up with those holes that I created and use smaller corner ones that have four. Stick them in there. It looks pretty good. So now we're gonna start steaming. You push the little button here in the front. Let's see if it works. Oh yeah, there it goes. So steam's coming out. You're going to hold it just over, probably like this far over your project. You don't want it to touch it, but pretty close. And just slowly run along. And it's supposed to actually dry pretty quick after you steam it. So I'm gonna go through kind of like in rows, I guess. Oh yeah, I can feel it. I'm gonna go along the edges just to get those outer stitches. All right, that's it. So you're gonna wait just a few minutes. You can do whatever you want in that few minutes. I don't know about you, but I'm kind of really impatient and I want it to dry right now. <laughs> wow, okay, so it's already dry. I think it's been, um, it's only been about five minutes and it's already dry. I hope I did it right. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take these off and see what we have. Oh, wow. Okay. That looks fabulous. Look at how nice it looks. And it just lays so, so beautifully. Okay. That's awesome. I love it. So my square is about 16 inches with the border, um, which is going to make for quite a large blanket. Um, but I'm excited about it. So that's like 12. I'm going to mark that there. Yep. It's about 16 inches. Perfect. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please uh, leave a comment if you have any questions about this. I will leave the links for these knit blockers by Knitter's Pride in the description below. I will also leave a link for the steamer down below. Wow, I'm really impressed by this and I'm super excited about it. I can't wait to finish my blanket and do all the squares. Oh, and if you want, you can grab the um, link below for the Sweet Treats Crochet Along where it's a free crochet along. It's going on from January 28th until April 22nd. And then we're gonna do two weeks of working the border and also um, giving away prizes. The yarn was gifted and gifted by We Crochet and it is Brava Worsted Weight and it's beautiful. They have tons of colors, so you can choose any yarn you want for the crochet along. I love the way this turned out. Ah, I'm excited. All right, guys, happy crocheting.